Oh, that she once almost marked G Herbo. Let's take a closer look yeah, that okay, at what baby Santana. Jakara Barnes like, bro, was a Jay, teenage I'm glad girl you good now, my boy. I'm glad you good. for being a feared gang member and respected you shooter. Watch in SML. The city. Uh, no, I did a reaction to that before. Didn't he get sued or some shit where he can't use the Mario character? In Chicago, she was exposed to gun violence at a young age when her father and brother you know were killed. Sands is? No. She later moved to the Jarl City neighborhood where she started getting cool with the GDs who lived there. Okay. One of those GDs was Tuka, who was from the STL EBT set and lived in the area. KI and Tuka formed a close relationship and she would start getting close with other dudes in the neighborhood from Jarl City and STL EBT. So when Tuka was killed in January 2011, KI was heartbroken. But this only made her turn up and go harder in the streets. Tuka was allegedly killed by the BDs in retaliation for the 2009 murder of a dude named Edric Walker. So, KI directed her rage at BD sets like 600 in Wick City. Yeah, we need some backstory on KI because last video we watched, it was just saying how Vaughn, bro, that whole shit was just like fucking middle school crushes, like how Vaughn had a fucking crush on her and shit like that. Like, bro, I want to see how she was a demon, nigga. Which would later become O Block. KI would later get revenge in August of 2011 after she and FBG Butta caught a BD named Odie Perry lacking while riding his bike. KI and Butta were out looking for ops because it was Tuka's birthday. They were near the 400 block of E64 Street when they saw OD ride past on his bike. So they both started shooting at him. OD would be killed in the shooting Damn. and many have alleged that KI was the one who pulled the trigger. OD was a well-respected and high-ranking member of the BDs and it came as a shock to many that he had been killed by a girl. After OD was killed, the BDs in Wick City started going by the name O Block and vowed to get revenge on STL EBT, who were now going by the name Tukaville. So, KI was the one who first sparked the beef between O Block and Tukaville, which continues to this day. After OD's death, KI. Bro, why did she. Why did they. Why did he just. This is why I don't even like the channel. This is why I just wait for a uh, fucking. What's that shit? Trap Geek. Nigga just said he, she's the one who sparked the beef between them two. Nigga, it was already beef between them two. Nigga, all they did was change their name for, to their dead homies. Like, what the fuck? I got addicted to the street life and became one of the most feared shooters in I'll Chicago. Be back from the it's even been rumored that she started training younger kids in the nigga area. Nigga died a whole decade ago. Oh, nigga still dizzy, bro. This niggas don't stop, bro. On how to rob and do drills like her. One of those kids was her cousin, Taekwon Tyler. In 2012, Taekwon would be killed while attending a house party with his sister. During the party, there was a fight and shots ended up going off. Damn, Taekwon bro. was killed by a stray bullet from another Niggas member of Girl City kids, named Nashawn Flowers, who was later sentenced to 55 years in jail for the murder. <sighs> KI was also there that night and saw Taekwon get killed. After this murder, she changed her name on Twitter to Taekwon Assassin and started really getting reckless in the streets. Damn. In her bio, she also wrote hashtag Taekwon Assassin paid shooter which let the world know that she was now taking hits for cash. At one point, a user on the website 4chan even hacked KI's Twitter DMs and revealed that she was actually taking cash for hits. God one of these messages- God damn, nigga. God damn, social media be taking y'all niggas to jail. Messages seem to suggest that she almost accepted $10,000 to take what out you need G The DM exchange shows a man whose face had been edited out, holding a stack of money to his ear. KI asked him, when you coming- When you coming with that paperwork? L, when you coming with that paperwork, I'm finna be in the shot this week and we gonna link up. I'm gonna put money on all them fuck niggas. Okay, cool, hit me up. I don't fuck around, fam. No, you heard about them twins. Hell yeah, y'all motherfuckers made old block took old D out the map. Delete this shit out your D and police on my ass. Bitch, but you ain't deleted. And with the paperwork, he replies, I'm finna be in the shot this weekend. We gonna link up. I'm gonna put money on all them So the person hiring the hit wasn't even from Chicago, which is suspicious from the start. The conversation continues with KI saying, okay. All right, Fuzz, I got you. I'm going to tap your line when I'm in town. Need that nigga gone. All right, Fuzz. Hey, bro, don't fuzz me, police. Okay, cool. Hit me up. I don't fuck around, fam. 2014, no, isn't that when Kill Shit came out? Yo, bro, <laughs> imagine they really took her off. You heard about them twins. The dude responds by saying, hell yeah. Y'all motherfuckers made O-Block. Took OD off the map. So clearly, the dude ordering the hit knows about KI's reputation. and can tell that she's serious about the hit. After that, KI gets a little sketched out and tells the dude to delete the DMs because the cops are onto her. He tells her it's all good and he'll hit her line when he's in the city. That's when KI drops the bombshell and says, 10K for Lil Herb up front. So KI was really agreeing Man, to take- 10K for Lil Herb. Lil, I forgot that nigga was going for Lil Herb back then. Bro, where the fuck is G Herbo even from? That nigga not from the O, right? Like, damn, they, they was, she was just on anybody. <laughs> 
damn 10k five up front nigga I and chicago. i need that back in chicago no fucking shit jam like what part of chicago i was most respected rappers for 10 grand i'm G not 18 so i can't uber to my house nigga that don't even make sense you don't have to be 18 in uber i've been ubering since i was a fucking jit Herbo, also known as Lil Herb, is a rapper from the South Shore neighborhood of Chicago. Oh, South Shore. As a teenager, Herb became affiliated with the No Limit Muskegon Boys gang, who were made up of renegade Lord, sets no. of the GDs. And even if they did ask for age, you could literally just lie. Put your phone number. No nigga, you no nigga, you Uber eats. And yeah, Black Beast Stone. Dick to your mouth. Herb and his childhood friend Lil Bibby were originally members of a renegade stone set called No Limit. They later formed an alliance with the renegade set of the GDs called the Muskegon Boys. Together, they formed NLMB, which okay. stood for No Limit Muskegon Boys, or Never Leave My, My Brothers, Brothers Behind. Uh -huh. So being made up of two renegade sets from larger, more powerful gangs in the city, NLMB was beefing with pretty much everybody. Yeah. Their main ops were Lakeside, KTS, Black Mob, No Limit, Death Row, and many others. God damn, nigga! <laughs> How many fucking gangs you about to be for? <laughs> yeah, bro, I thought he was going to stop. Nigga just kept going and going and going. We're not known to be for STLEBT. Lil Baby's juice manager. Yeah, Lil Baby quit rapping and went to fucking college. Came out and signed one of the fucking biggest stars to ever exist. NLMB is based on That's the crazy. east side. And STL is based on the south side. So they never had any real reason to be. And I'm going to just keep the lights on. Hope a roast don't kill me. What the fuck are you talking about? NLMB did have Thanks problems the with City, the noise. which is maybe the reason why KI was willing to do the hit on G Herbo, but it doesn't explain who was behind the messages. Before blowing up as a rapper, Herb had a lot of enemies in the streets. His main beef nah, was why he just shot before back blowing up like as a this. rapper, Herb had a lot of enemies. Nah, Herb just be looking dumb funny, bro. <laughs> like, why he shot back like that? <laughs> you know this nigga miss every shot. <laughs> Bro, y'all seen the picture of this nigga throwing the baseball? What? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I know y'all seen the shit of G Herbo throwing the baseball. Come on. <laughs> Look at this nigga, man. <laughs> bro, this is not a real person, bro. This is not a real person. Like, why he looked like that? <laughs> bro, what the fuck is wrong with him? Enemies in the streets. Yeah, this nigga's bad, His bro. main beef was with a GD <laughs> set called KTS, which had two popular rappers, KTS Vaughn and KTS Dre. The beef between NLMB and KTS goes I'm way sure. back to 2008 with the murder of a dude named Lil Pez. Lil Pez was affiliated with members of KTS, and he was allegedly killed by a member of it's NLMB, so they've been at war ever since. The dude behind the hit may have been affiliated with one of Herb's ops, like KTS. But the fact that he said he was only going to be in the shy for the weekend makes it seem like he was from out of town. Plus, if he was gang affiliated, he should be able to do the hit himself. G Herbo and Lil Bibby first started to blow up in August 2012 with the track Kill Shit. Mm -hmm. The conversation between KI oh, and his wrong. mystery man likely would have- Oh, that was 2014. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, Kill Shit was- I didn't know Kill Shit was 2012. Did it drop 2012? When did it start becoming popular? When did Kill Shit become popular? I probably heard it in 2013. Taking place right around the time that Herb was building a buzz in the music industry. So maybe the person that beefed with Herb for reasons that had nothing to do with the gang and decided to hit up one of Chicago's most famous shooters song, to handle the problem. Then. Another popular theory is that the guy was just trolling, but KI was dead serious. Or maybe he was serious and just didn't have the 10 grand KI was charging. The hit clearly never took place because G Herb was still alive. There are also a few other rumors to explain why K.I. never went through with the hit. Maybe K.I. got spooked and felt like the guy messaging her was working with the police. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's that time, how the mad police. K.I. was well known by the Chicago PD and they had been trying to take her down ever since the murder of O.D. But she was smart with how she moved and they were never able to get enough evidence. Bro, she wasn't smart about nothing, nigga. She literally got all that shit in her fucking social media. To convict her of any crimes. Maybe her instincts told her that this dude was gonna get her caught up in the case and decided not to risk it. Another rumor is that the dude backed out after feeling like it may be a setup. K.I. was known to rob people, so it wouldn't be surprising if she decided to convince this dude that she was going to do the hit for 10k, only to have the boys from STL waiting to take his cash and run. Or maybe the plan was still in motion when K.I. was killed. On April 10, 2014, K.I. was on the way to a friend's house for lunch with FBG Butter and another friend when a shooter in a gray hoodie came up and started letting off shots. 
K.I. had recently revealed her location on Vaughn. social media, which turned out to be a big mistake. Turned out that was Vaughn, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what's crazy? These shits is not even rumors. When it comes to these niggas, it's not even rumors. Like, it's already been confirmed that, like, it's, it's these niggas, bro. Like, they did it. <laughs> I let her dominate me. I don't think you'd have a choice. Chief Keef's cousin, Blood Money, was recently murdered, and rumors were going around that K.I. was the shooter. God. So, when she revealed her location, the BDs decided to get revenge. K.I. was shot nine times in the neck, jaw, and chest, and was later pronounced dead at just 17 years old. The rumors are that it was a group from O-Block who planned the hit, and it was King Von who fired the kill shot. Chicago police later leaked paperwork that confirmed Vaughn was the primary suspect in the investigation, but the DA refused to take the case due to lack of evidence. In just a few short years, K.I. earned a reputation as one of the most respected gang members in the city. She was so well known that random dudes from outside of the city were willing to pay her to perform hits on famous rappers. It's still not clear who wanted G Herbo dead. It's also not clear if K.I. would have just finessed the dude or would have actually taken out her. But it does prove how influential she was in the streets of Chicago and how deadly she was as well. Who knows what would have happened if K.I. actually went through with it and took out G Herbo. It may have caused a war between STL and NLMB, and fans would have never gotten the chance to see the rapper reach its full potential. Luckily, the murder plot never made it past the DMs, and this her was able to fed. make it out of the streets before and he I'm a fed for reacting to it and posting it on my reaction channel. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental. 